Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Austria. Wait, my name is Mr. Mokalover, that's right. Anyways, uh, let's continue our game. So, uh, what I literally just did is made the Germans declare war on the United Kingdom. Now, I didn't do the Canadians or the Entente declaring war on Germany, just because it would make too much sense since, since they want to rebuild the UK first up. But, regardless, they're at war. I have played this just a few days ahead of time, just because I needed a... I was actually experiencing some sort of audio problems. Like, if you notice that the audio is a little bit louder, uh, you know, please let me know if it's okay or not, just because it seemed extremely quiet. I could hear it, but it was still extremely quiet when it came to just hearing things. So if it's too loud, let me know. If you can barely hear my voice, I'm sorry. But let's continue anyway. So, uh, obviously I've released Arabia. They are here. They're under some guy named Abtan Ibn Jazi. And honestly, I checked their land, checked their provinces and tiles. They barely have any factories because this land is so bad. There's almost all of the slots for factories have already been used up. And just releasing them would be fine. I don't. It's, it's basically useless land. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I do own Ma <clears throat> Ma'an right now, apparently. Um, maybe I'll just keep it here as a colony state. Someone did want me to annex. Uh, Matsura Matru, 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 Alexandria, as well as Cairo, which I'm totally cool with having a little annexation base in North Africa here. I'll probably release Tripolitania as a puppet and release, of course, the rest of Egypt as a puppet as well. We, of course, are at war with Yemen. Between this episode and the last, apparently, uh, Muscat joined the Entente. Oh, yeah, and Hyderabad declared war on the Entente as well, so good luck, Indian princes. You need it. We did want to go with the Mongolian Empire, though. We did want to end up trying to go to war with them. We're not ready yet with that. So, my goal is to go to war with the Mongolians, like I said before, to eventually take all this territory, give it to Russia, maybe except for Western China, set up our own Western Chinese puppet, and have it kind of acting there as if it is some sort of barrier state between me and the rest of Asia, for the most part. We'll restore some of Russian, Russian territory, and then really eventually turn our attention to the Entente and Reich's Pact. So that is our goal as of this moment. So hopefully no one declares war on me from the Reich's Pact or Entente. God dang, I still can go with more country. I still can do a lot of things. Hmm. I, I do want to do Phoenix. Uh, there's not really much I can do here. It's okay. Oh yeah, also concerning this about Iran, I was trying to record earlier, that's why I'm a little bit a few days ahead of where we ended up last time, but I wasn't exactly sure about the person who commented about basically everything from the last video. Regarding Iran, Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Armenia, I'm okay with taking them out, and I kind of want to. Oh, maybe I can't take out Azerbaijan. But what what do I do with these territories? Now I don't think you're I don't think English is your primary language, which is totally fine. But uh, just Austria owning these territories might be a little bit too much. I would love to see if I could annex or create the Confederation of the Caucasus, like down here. I think that'd be really cool. But I wouldn't mind liberating Persia. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime. Go ahead and finish these guys up. You guys are doing a great job. Send the tanks. All tanks this way. They can finish off the Platoni by themselves. No questions asked. While the infantry, while these are actual Austrian boys, come down here and finish off Egypt. Good. Fans Boma, do you have anything for me? No? Good. Very good. Oh, look! Okay, so since the Reichspact is at war with the Entente, I forgot that Portugal was part of the Entente, and they're about to be destroyed. Very interesting. Now, it'll be very interesting to see... Oh, there goes Maison of Liberia, and that was given... All of Lisbon, Portugal's gone. And the French Republic just pretty much looks like they annexed it. Yeah, they completely annexed. Now, what's going to happen over the Reichspact down here? Brazil, how many divisions do you have? Since you are fighting with the Reichspact against the Entente, you have six divisions, and Argentina has eight divisions while they're in the Reichspact. Uh, Portugal's changed their non-aggression pact while they're dead, so I'm not really concerned. Skoda, I want Phoenix. Really, I really want Phoenix. 
Uh, fast battleships and dreadnoughts. Well, I'm almost done with that. Can you get more naval dockyards? That actually would help. Oh, let's do that. Uh, tanks. Oh, I love tanks. So good. Low tire. Nothing interesting. My tanks. They're 40 width. That's good. Field hospitals. Probably not necessary for that. Well, since I'm not really using this political power, capital ship and attack probably is for the best. Screens. Ooh. Do we want Paul? Or do we want Yanko? Uh, let's get Yank Yanko just to say we like the other minorities in our country. Whether we do or not, that's totally up to you. But we can, we're going to use him just to appreciate him and his skills. Alright, so. Uh, come on, guys. Let's go ahead. Everyone all together now. Everyone all together. Streamline line. Sounds very good to me. Go ahead and just take these guys out. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, let's see. Air Doctrine probably could use a little bit more help. And... Who are we not getting supplies from? Let me guess. I knew it. Spain, Siam, Argentina. Ooh, oh, oh. Oh. yeah. Uh, let's see. Russia is a great nation to have. I don't, I don't want to depend on them too, too heavily. Anyone here can give me... What is this? Rubber? Not really... Is always good, but eh. That'd be better. Artillery upgrade. Good steel. That's yeah, fine. All right. What did we just research? Better artillery? Something like that. Support companies are good. 1943. We'll get this stuff done eventually. Armor we're doing awesome. Engineering. Oh, maybe we need to build this. Nuclear reactor. So that sounds extremely interesting. The tanks will do a great job. No worry about them. No, no, no worries. Yeah, go ahead and encircle them if you can. And how's this looking? It's looking okay. I did give these guys a few more planes to help out down here. They, they have been reorganizing. I want you to go ahead and go again. Looks like we have a lot of divisions over here. Very nice. They are getting attacked. Hopefully we can do some attacking as well. What are we currently constructing? More civilian factories. Oh, all right then. So we've got factories to use. We need an airbase over here. We'll probably need an airbase maybe in the Mediterranean. Um, we might need an airbase in what we call over there. Oh, and Egypt's gone. Nice. Awesome. Uh, we'll take all states, and then we'll take what we want, and then liberate them. Good job, guys. Uh, since you're Austrians and I, you are precious resources. I don't really want to send you over here, but I think I will have to. Who else are we fighting? Iran, Yemen, and Tripolitania. So, alright, let's see. The Ukrainians are doing okay, not great, in Iran. Oh, wait, I can go to... I can get Zealand? Hmm, I did not realize I did this. Well, they're just kind of going to be added to our collection of soldaten. Can we win with just infantry over the lake, over this river here? They have three divisions, but we don't have super strong divisions. Oh, we got 7-2. That's pretty good. We might win this. If we can get Copenhagen. Yeah, it's all over for them. And then we'll have all of Scandinavia under our belt. It's actually very interesting to think about. So far, so good. Come on, tanks. You got this. Yep, they've taken the last port, I believe. The tanks finish them off. Oh, and the Swedes invaded Libya. Very good. Oh, we've taken the cap capital. All right, awesome. Good job, guys. Good job. And there goes Latania. Now I could just take them, but I want to leave it up to the audience here, you guys, to see what you would want to see in terms of North Africa. And I'm already going to take these territories over here in Egypt. But I want to. I will release them once we are finished with Iran. I'm going to go ahead and send some tanks this way to Iran because our guys are struggling a little bit over here. You guys can stop. Go ahead and stop when you can. Good, good, good. Coasts. Guarding all this area. We we'll probably need that. Uh, maybe not this, but we definitely probably need to got good Gutesburg, Gutesburg, and any territories around here as well. 
just in case. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, let's use their factories for now. We'll liberate those guys soon enough. So we can destroy. We've got 10 battleships. Something tells me if I use... If I go up here, we might do okay. Let's see. they got a level 3 base. They've got a level 1 base. And they've got a level 5. Let's go back up here. What are we missing for equipment production? Close air support. Well, I didn't even research them, so I guess we're really missing them. Cool. Let's see. Light SP artillery. Don't ever use those. Light tanks. Those are a thing of the past. Strategic bombers are going to save. There's a lot of garbage fighters that we're going to get rid of. Yeah. If they have over 100, I'm going to keep them. Close air support. Negative one. Don't need that. We're, we are producing some... Oh, the fall of Algiers. Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa, Germany! What the? What did you do? How how'd you do that so quickly? What is Canada doing? <laughs> what the heck? I did not expect that to happen that fast. No, I didn't expect a bunch of divisions in Ger Ger in the UK, but holy cow! The German French War, the French Republic, Morocco was the backstabber. Oh my gosh! I did not realize that. My bad. Well. Obviously, the Reichsback is going to be extremely powerful. They fight oh, they're fighting Japan as well. That is true. I mean, they, Japan hasn't really lost anything. Oh, my God. Oh, and Denmark's gone. Nice. Good job, guys. Forgot about Denmark. Man, if I could liberate into one Scandinavia, I totally would. That would be so cool. Let's go ahead and liberate Egypt. Uh, liberate and no, we're gonna liberate Egypt, Sudan, but we're gonna take those territories that someone recommended me to take earlier. All right. We didn't really have a long fight with Egypt, though. Let's see, Mark. We're gonna take uh, all these territories just because you might as well take all of them. That'd be kind of nice. I kind of like that. The entire northern coast of Africa will be ours. That's pretty, pretty nice. Now, we didn't leave Egypt with a lot of resources. But they still got a lot of manpower. They got a few uh, factories. Kind of okay. Ah, very good. Very, very good. You know, just in case... So, since they're part of the Dona Edribund, which is very good, I do want to eventually attack the Don Kuban Union. Which, obviously, at this point, it's it's shaping up that we're going to have to fight the Reich's Pact by ourselves. But that's okay. Oh, wait. Japan invaded... Kingdom of Siam invaded the, min the Dominion of India. Alright. Interesting. Well, since we have Austrians, spare Austrian soldiers, we will send them to Armenia. Because I believe they're independent. So basically, this episode is going to turn into... Who can I take out? Quickly. Because eventually, we will surround the Don Kuban Union. We did want to take out Mongolia, actually. Uh, I'll, that's, a, that's pretty easy to take out. Pretty quick. Uh, we got soldiers up here. I do want to liberate Denmark. I should really see if I can liberate Scandinavia. Just let everyone annex each other around here, and then liberate them. I think that would be a good idea. A good goal. Uh, but for now, we will liberate Denmark. Just as a placeholder. So. That'll be fine, and Libya will liberate for now as well. Oh, well, shit. Well, I guess we're not liberating Libya. That's okay. Denmark, who are you led by? Yeah, between this episode and the next, I'm going to see if I can liberate Scandinavia. Uh, spare army. Good stuff. And I believe the Mongolians were actually very heavily invested into China, so... Oh. They're not political power. That's okay. They only have up to 60 divisions, and they're... Oh my god! Chinese Germany! Oh my god, what the heck. I mean, yeah, you're Chinese, and you got... Oh my god, that's disgusting. 220 divisions versus less than 60? Good lord. Just good lord. Oh, and yeah, we need to finish this, this war up too down here. Go ahead. Just keep attacking, pretty much, just because... They're not my man. It's not my manpower, first of all. And second of all, the Yemeni people, they don't have enough men. 
just literally to keep fighting. They're on service bar format and they're already out of manpower. Paul's, Paul's gone. Okay, Baratia Commune. Good job, I guess. Oh, and Russia and Sweden invaded this area. Good, good job, guys. Uh, do I have my tanks over here? Yes, I do. So, with the tanks, we will attack. Uh, we can see how many divisions they have. That's not too many. We'll attack this way. Take up two, and then we'll spend it there. We could take Tehran, but I just want to cut these guys off. That'll be good. Send one division this way to help out. Awesome. Things are going. Yeah, I want to build an airbase here so I can help these guys down here. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, I'm so sorry, the Entente. I forgot about you guys. Germany, you're, you're such an evil bastard. So evil. Are they... Okay, they're on extensive conscription. About half a million manpower. They have a crap ton of factories, a crap ton of boats. So, my God, so many divisions. Experts fighting, very good. Very good. Are they... They don't have divisions on every province. Interesting. Interesting tactic. Yeah, we definitely need more tanks. Oh, my gosh. And for you guys, we'll give you a little bit of a boost. Lotar, I hope you're becoming a hills fighter, a mountaineer. He slowly is. Oh, Carl, do you have anything? No? Oh, you're a mountaineer, which is actually really good. Let's see. Alright, very good. Alright, so that's actually really nice. Maybe we'll take all of North Africa as uh, colonial states. Sardinia's invaded. The French Kingdom went and capitulated the French Republic. Absolutely insane. Wait. Oh, we have an, one of my armies down here by Spain. Alright then. You might as well guard the entire border then of the Reich's Pact. Hmm. Come on, Soldaten, you have it. Oh man. So many things are just dying like crazy. The Ukrainians are doing well though. That's what I love to see. Now oh, they're doing somewhat okay. Two's gonna be pretty good. Austrian capital ship flat. Port of Istra, yes, please. Oh, better tanks. Awesome, I love it. Rocket artillery sounds very interesting to use as well. Extraction, more oil. I don't think I need any more oil. No, I lied. I need more oil. I need more resources overall, so that tells me. Resources! Good. And let's get some better tanks. Let's go ahead and get the best we can. Max out on that armor. Yeah, better armor, slightly better speed, and it's still pretty gosh darn reliable. Ah, love it. Oh, good. And our tanks are actually doing well. Well, they got actually extremely beaten up, but that's okay. That's what they're there for. To take all those hits, to do well, to remind Austria what must be sacrificed in order for us to achieve many, many things. And we definitely want to go to war with these guys as soon as possible. 45 days. Just don't capitulate before we can get there. Because I don't mind giving... So basically, if I go to war with the Mongolian Khanate, with the German Chinese doing so well, we probably will have to give up a lot of territory, at least of Chinese territory, to the German Chinese, which I'm totally fine with. I just want to make sure that Russia itself will get a lot of its former territories back that we took when we you know, beat the crap out of Russia. Beat the crap out of Russia. Percent Khanate, though. We'll probably... Hmm, that's a good chunk of territory. Maybe I could liberate Persia. What I could do is liberate Persia, give them the Turkestan Khanate, as well as Azerbaijan, Armenia, as well as other countries down here. Hmm, interesting. Now, also, I did remind myself, or remember, that the Habsburgs did have a claim to the kings of Jerusalem, the kingdom of Jerusalem. However, I didn't do anything like that just because the territory here is so wonky for the division of the tiles and provinces, so that's why I didn't take this territory or the former claims of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. I would love to, but yeah, it's just a little too wonky down here. A little too wonky. Oh, good. We cut them off. Very nice. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and, and show them a good time. Show the Iranians a very, very good time. Wow, we are struggling so, so hard down here in Yemen. I'm sorry, Ukrainian. I'm so sorry. But, better you than me. What's the manpower of the Ukraine like? Oh, they got plenty of boys. They got plenty of boys. Maybe they need more weaponry, though. Support equipment and infantry equipment. I shall help you out. 
Let's see, we can send you 34,000 of these thingies. And we can send you 10,000 of those thingies. Sound good? All for free, because I'm using your boys. That sounds weird. Good, we pushed them back a little bit. And I ran just like... Oh, I ran just like... Uh, Yeah, Yemen is going to fall and perish. Good, good stuff. Wait, so we're going to upgrades. Ezekiel? <gasps> adaptable, yeah, let's do it. Adaptable. Adaptable is really good. Less terrain penalty reduction and coal and hot acclimatization factor. Awesome. What am I currently justifying on? Let's see. Let's go to me. One of the greatest, the country, greatest countries in the world. We're fighting two wars, and we're trying to justify on the Mongolian Khanate as well as Armenia. Good. German Empire. Wow. So with the tanks doing a great job down over here, we're going to relegate you to the northern mountainous region, which is absolutely one of the terrible things you could do to a tank. But I think, even though they're pretty injured, we'll be okay. We'll have, a lot, we'll have some time in the near future for the tanks to rest up. Oh! And we're actually out of things to make. Yeah, that's why I didn't mind not taking a bunch of territory from, you know, our enemies. Just because we are running out of things to make. I mean, I'll make some nuclear reactors and stuff, but I don't need that many more factories. Hmm. I guess make, I can make one more right there. Radar. Radar is actually going to be very, very important when I go to war with a lot of other people. Let's see. Ooh. Do that over there. Do that over here. Oh, that's good enough. You can do that over here. Uh, you can do that right there. Oh, we definitely need radar around Gibraltar. Uh, that will be good. I wish you could do more than one level in your puppets. It's even better than... I don't know why you can't build some radars in some locations. like for, Especially your puppets, like in base game or other versions of and other mods. It just doesn't make too much sense to me. Oh, we do definitely need some... Uh, Naval dockyard. I need a bigger navy. I definitely, definitely need a bigger navy. It's good. Yeah, we're gonna build a massive navy, or at least as big as we can get. Good. You guys are doing so well. Since I'm giving you more equipment, I'm gonna assume that you guys have more capabilities to go ahead. You have some uh, some allies down here, anyways. It's almost 1944. We're doing great, great jobs, guys. Great, great jobs. How is the war between the Reichs Pact and the Entente going? Well, it doesn't look like anyone's really invading each other yet, after the capitulation of the UK and Portugal, and that's one thick Morocco. Holy crap. That is sick. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. So, Morocco's in the Reichs Pact, so they basically have direct access to support Deutsch Mental Africa, which is getting invaded by the Union of South Africa, as well as Portugal. But the French Kingdom said no and invaded South Africa. Gotta keep it interesting somehow, some way. Very good. Yeah, this is not going super well for those boys, but that's okay. The enemy will capitulate by the end of the video, I'm sure of it. And since, uh, let's see, landing craft, very good. Let's get some more infantry heart attack and stuff. Let's send you back home. Go home, come to Kristenland. And we're going to reorganize you. What were we justifying on again? I can't remember. I'm recording this actually a little bit later than usual. Go ahead and go back to Kustenland. Or at least go to the Arabian Sea. Screw it. We'll do the Red Sea as well, just so that our allies can invade if they need to. Oh, we can go to... Oh, we can go to war with these guys. Awesome. So, Austrian soldiers, you have been clamoring for some sort of action. And we will restore a great portion of the Russian territories to Russia. Good. I didn't even check how many divisions the enemy actually has up here. But, our guys needed some action. Oh, infantry. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I crap, I should have went with logistics wizard instead. Alright. Field, uh, Field Marshal Sigismund Schilhowski. Learn more. Actually, it looks like the Mongolians don't have that much equipment or manpower left. Uh, sure, German-Chinese, yeah, we don't want a non- We want- we want a non-aggression factor with you. So they're running out of equipment already. 
that are on all adult serve, and they have about half of the divisions that they had earlier. Oh, Switzerland? Sure. Sure, why not? Alright, so how, how's this going? So we're just going ahead and taking all the territories. Just go ahead and take Mashhad. Just go ahead. That looks like we're doing better down here now. Finally. Whoever's who's the leader for this? Wilhelm Zander? Ah, uh, you're still an old guard, god dang it. I hate that. But you should be yeah, you're becoming a trickster, you're becoming a ranger, a hill spider, a mountaineer. Very good. How's our fleet looking? Nothing really we got fifty two destroyers. Something tells me that's probably enough destroyers for now. Let's go get some modern dreadnoughts. We'll upgrade it for now if we can. We have barely enough. That's the less max range. Let's see. That'll help. Slightly, slightly better. Modern dreadnought. Yeah, we definitely need dreadnoughts. Okay, we're doing all right. And there goes Iran. Good, good, good. Take all states. Figure out what we want to do with them very soon. Actually, since you guys are here already, you might as well help out. Right? Uh, actually, I'm going to tell you guys to go kind of slow on this. Go ahead. You guys. Tanks. I'm going to leave my tanks out of this for now, just because we don't really need to use them as much. And we're also justifying on Armenia. So actually, I'm going to send you guys to Armenia. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, they have five divisions. These guys will be enough to take them out. Go ahead, tanks. Take a chill pill. As Georgia... I might want to go to war with Georgia as well. I just want to take out everybody. Or go to war with the Rex Oh, look at... Oh, two Sicilies has invaded Greece. What's the German Empire looks like? Wow. Is anyone in Europe besides the Batavian Commune not part of a faction? I think everyone's a part of a faction. Oh, I can't wait for this great civil war of Europe and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to send you guys. I'm going to send you guys to here. Just for now. Just for now. Baki, Georgia. Let's see, how are we doing? Ports of Easter. Very good. Uh, we're going to skip the air base. Let's expand Austrian air bases, though, over here. Oh, good. Uh, modern Dreadnought Mark 1s, please. Yes. We definitely need to greatly increase the number of Dreadnoughts we have. We definitely need more oil and steel, though. Oil and steel. Oil. Uh, well, Romania, I need a few more thingies. Oh, boy. I can get some more from Albania first. That'll be good. Steel from... Let's get it from Norway. Because I don't want to depend too extremely heavily on... Russia, because I'm already depending on them for a ton of stuff. Yeah, I guess I might need a few more military... Civilian factories, I mean. A few more civilian factories. So I can trade them away. That's alright. Uh, one... One... And then... One as well. Let's see. United Baltics Dutchy. Cool. Very good. Yeah. We're definitely trying to level up Ezekiel Schmidt here. He's already level... Oh, shit. Level 5? Oh, he's really leveled up. You're doing alright, you're doing great. Uh, how close is the Mongolian Oh, they're extremely close. Oh, that's good. We're still at war with Yemen. God dang it, come on, guys. Hmm. Well, our allies are trying to invade down here, which is good. How much more time do we have until this? Not bad, not bad. Go and give him a little bit of extra boost. You're level 6 already, wow. Invader, Commando... How about Mountaineer? Oh, we're halfway through Mountaineer. How about Hill Spider? You're halfway as well. That's good. Alright, very nice. Very nice. Turkish Sand will fall, hopefully very soon. Austrians are doing a great, great job. I'm thinking maybe I should raise another army of puppets. Puppet soldiers. Uh, I could probably do that. Oh, we're going to definitely need it when we go to war with the Reichs pack, though. We will definitely need it. See, we got 39 days for the annexation of Persia. Yemen is looking good. Awesome. Sorry, Ukraine. Just the way it has to be. I'm not going to liberate off. Uh, I'm not going to give any territories to Spain. That's obviously direct Habsburg lands. Yeah, I've got to find the right words. Since I'm recording kind of 
quite a bit later at night. How many more days until we have Armenia done? All right, we got 25 days. So that'll be in the next episode we take out Armenia. It's taking a little longer than I expected. Mongolia, please. You only have 4% left before you capitulate. And of course, we are in the end game lag for Kaiserreich. So that does make sense. Oh, a little bit of an encirclement. Very good. Very good. Yes, very, very good. Let them all take them out here. Excavation 4 is done and completed. We will need more oil, but it is 1944. And what does that mean? It means new planes. It means absolutely new planes. Very good. Ah, uh, when? I'm trying to remember if they announced. I don't think they did announce when the next major Kaiserreich update will be out. So that's okay. Because I just don't want to have to redo all of this. Just so for the next episode, if there's another update. Because that, cause updates for mods for Hoi 4 always screw everything else up. Yeah, go ahead and have a non-aggression pact. It's fine with me. I just want to see Mongolian Khanate at least capitulate before this episode ends. Hopefully Yemen too, but something tells me we're going to have to wait for them. I've really, really ignored them. Yeah, Yemen. Oh, they're already on all adults serve now. Wow. Control of state, yeah, it's not helping them. Less and less stability, less and less manpower, less and less equipment, which is good for us. And Greece is looking pretty bad. Alright, guys, are you almost done yet? Good, good, good. And there goes Mongolian Connie. Good job. Go ahead and take him out. Awesome. And, oh, you need to South Africa is also capitulated. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take, we'll take all the states of the Turkestan Connie. And I'll give a lot of these territories to German China, because they did most of the work. And we'll eventually see what kind of happens. So, uh, you know what? I'll end the episode here. You'll see what my work has been for this. And I'm sure you will have comments below on how it should look. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. We're just taking out a bunch of smaller states as we watch Germany try to fight the Entente. And I would really appreciate your comments below on how I should divide up territory and our next move. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. If you dislike the video, leave a like anyways and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Kaiser Carl appreciates it.